This little video is brought to you by, well, a few questions about the double-walled titanium tumblers that we have recently offered. Now, in the past, we were able to arrange for a group buy on a particular version. This being the original titanium tumbler, you can see that this one has flame anodized treatment to the surface. And as you can tell, you can probably see some of the steam coming off of this coffee. Um, I wouldn't be able to hold this if it was a single walled or an improperly sealed double walled uh, tumbler if it was titanium or aluminum because the heat would just be too much to to bear on my my little digits there. Hmm. Yes, and quite uh, quite hot. Now, by way of uh, generalized introduction, and of course this has already been covered uh, elsewhere, but the original titanium tumbler has three rings near the top. It's, it's quite, you know, gives quite a bit of thermal protection, not only to your hands and your fingers, but also to the beverage inside. Keeps it cold or keeps it hot, uh, whichever is uh, the preference at the time. In this case, we will be offering a group buy that is going to have a, a limit of time for obvious reasons. Uh, we can't make this indefinite. And in the case of, well, in this 200 cc capacity, which is what the original tumbler was at, um, that's no longer available. This version with the three rings is no longer available. So we'll just kind of take this out of the proverbial loop. Um, this has probably served me for going on eight years, and there's been a number of other of our uh, friends and associates and colleagues that have been using them. And uh, it works quite well for, for its purpose. This is going to be the new version of the tumbler. It has smooth walls on the side. There are no rings. It has a bit of a more of a modern, you know, appearance, uh, you know, contemporary, whatever you want to call it, almost like contemporary furniture. There is a slight uh, angle on the exterior. It's not completely vertical, but it's not exactly, you know, saucer-like either. The capacity is still 200 cc's as per the original, and I'll just prove that, especially for anyone who may already have one of these. A uh, little bit of ground, grinds there in the bottom for the new tumbler. And the new tumbler is available. It retails at about $83 if you can find them. And we will be able to offer them at $65, which will include shipping within the United States or properties thereof. I like this one. It Again, it has a modern appearance to it. Uh, the natural, of course, these also will all have a natural finish. We will also be able to do these, I believe, in something of a bead blast-like finish that I'll show you in just a moment. So going with the original natural titanium color, if you will, non-anodized, these will be at $65 instead of the $83 retail. The next size up will be similar in design as this, but it will be at 270 cc's capacity, closer to this tumbler, uh, more like, almost like a highball. And uh, in, in shape, it'll be very similar to this tumbler. This is a little larger than the 270 cc size that we are able to offer in this case. That will be at $75 instead of the retail of $135, and I don't think that even includes shipping. But the $75 does include shipping, and uh, that's where this, the larger cousin of this will, will be at. The next tumbler that we have is what we fondly call the Stein. That's S capital T I or F, capital S capital T and then I N E. The capital T and the small I meaning titanium in the whole uh, metallurgic uh, field or arena. And these have been covered by us quite a bit. The flare. There's a bit of a flare on the edge here. The flare is designed to accommodate the foam that you would have if you pour beer. Get it? Stein in beer. And it keeps it from going up your nose or into your mustache if you happen to have one. It, these also function very well with other beverages, hot or cold, in the same, same uh, regard as the, uh, as the other double-walled tumblers. These will be available. These are, it, also, these are, the capacity of these are 290 cc's, 290 cc's. These are available at $85 instead of the $145 retail, again, if you can find them. Now, the next 
uh, cat, if you will, on, on, on the arena is this one. This has kind of a bullet type of a shape to it on the, the bottom, and you can see that there's a bit of a, a bullet shape to it. So, but it does not roll, it does not, you know, kind of like the old weebles wobble, but they don't fall down. Um, but it doesn't, I mean, it is a, a completely flat uh, base, so there's not a problem with this one. Now, this capacity is at 400 cc's, and I've used one very similar to this that has a gold anodized surface. It's not like this bead blast-like surface, but it, uh, it looks kind of like a camouflage pattern almost. And with that and the gold, it works really well with Moscow mules. You know, traditionally use a Moscow mule in a, a copper cup or a copper container. And titanium has every bit the uh, thermal capacity of copper, maybe even better. And I just like it for those kinds of beverages or, you know, maybe a Bloody Mary or, uh, you know, a Negroni or, or any other typical cocktail containers that you would have a little more capacity than something along the lines of a tumbler. Um, haven't really traveled much with my personal one. I uh, haven't found the need. And of course it's larger, etc. But again, these are a little more elegant version of, you know, uh, a traditional type of a tumbler or glass wear, if uh, that's even a proper term here. But this is at 400 cc's capacity. These we are able to offer at $105, including shipping, instead of the comparative retail of $175. And again, if you can find them. Uh, with that said, this is a little bit better version of the, what I'm calling kind of a bead blast-like uh, texture or finish. What we are having will not have this graphic. It will just be all this uh, kind of bead blast-like texture. It is still smooth. It has a bit of a smooth texture to it, to the feel. So it's not really rough, but, you know, I enjoy it and I like the size capacity on it as well. So... Hopefully this answers some questions that have been posed uh, a few times and also clarifies what we can do. We'll be able to run these for a while. Uh, if you are interested, and if you're not in the, the uh, uber secret loop that uh, a bunch of colleagues of uh, ours, if you're not in that, you may send a email to the link that will be at the bottom of this, and uh, we can make arrangements for payment and getting these shipped out. So, you know, salute, good luck, and travel well.